Guys. What do we do? I'm, I'm look, staying back. Here, here's the thing. He, right now, right now, he's going to jail. Okay. Okay. He's going to jail, and, and, and it ain't nothing you can do about it. Period. I. There's there's nothing you can do about it. That's insane. Where was he booked? Would you have smiled for the mugshot if you were Scotty? I just don't, I don't know how he Is doesn't at any point in time say to these people, I Hi, I just want you to know, I am Scotty Shaffler. Right now, he's, Scotty he's is, been booked. has been booked. We saw a mugshot, he's wearing an orange jumpsuit. He's got an uh, hour and 45 minutes till he tees off. How quickly can he get out? <laughs> can he get through traffic to get to the golf course? <laughs> can he get any sort of warm up and then can he actually play? Here's the thing. At these tournaments, there are a lot of bad traffic jams. And there's a lot of situations where they have to get people around traffic. So you can see how this would get started. I feel like the big question is like, what are we missing here? Was there some sort of, I mean, did Scotty actually drive with this guy like hanging on his car for a while? Like, was there some sort of escalation? Or is this just a huge misunderstanding that has now gotten out of control? Scotty Scheffler is going to be here in 15 minutes, according to ESPN. He tees off in about an hour from now, a little bit more than an hour from now. That's early, honestly. I'll write up the statement. Everybody's talking about what happened here this morning. Court, you talked to Scotty briefly. Just kind of, just give us a way to write what's going on. I think I was, like everyone, quite shocked. Of all people, Scotty Shepard. Well, I was up on top of the bridge there from the plane, the plane, the drivers. If you walk by, I said, You all right? Is it your minute? The tee's off. All right, Sean, we've started to piece together, uh, not started, we pretty much have the yeah. timeline pieced together of Scotty Scheffler's wild day. Basically, if you go hour by hour, it's like 6 a.m., Scotty Scheffler gets involved in this incident uh, with a police officer. By 7 a.m., he's on his way to jail. Mm -hmm. 7.28, I think he gets booked. Yep. About an hour later, what, 8.40, he gets released. Uh, 8.40, he gets released. 912, he arrives here yeah. thanks to a ride from one of the owners of the golf club. The chairman of the event. Brought in the big guns. And uh, 1008. 1008, he teed off. He teed off. So he had a little bit of an abbreviated warm up. Yeah. And then, you know, what else is new? Goes out, nearly holes out for Eagle on the first hole as a kick in birdie, shoots 66. He's near the top of the leaderboard. Wasn't sure, Sean, if he would talk afterwards. He did. He came into the media center. I don't really know. I feel like my head's still spinning. I, I, I did spend some time stretching in a jail cell. That was a first for me. You know, I, I didn't know what time it was. I didn't know what was going on. But um, when I was sitting in like the, the holding cell or whatever, I was there was a TV there and I could see myself on the TV on ESPN. And it was get up was on. And so in the corner, it showed the time and it said they were delayed. And I was kind of thinking about my tea time. I was like, well, maybe, you know, I, I could be able to get out. As far as best rounds of my career, I would say it was it was pretty it was pretty good. You know, I, I I definitely never imagined ever going to jail, and I definitely never imagined going to jail the morning before uh, the one of my tea times. I should say he went out of his way to to make the day first and foremost about the tragic death of John Mills. That was kind of where he started his press conference and where he made sure to finish it. it was like, look, I Scotty Scheffler will be good. So I had a crazy day. I was rattled. It was nice to go play golf afterwards, but kind of wanted to keep the focus on, on the bigger picture. Yeah, first of all, you know, my sympathies go out to the family, Mr. Mills. Um, I, I can't imagine what what they're going through this morning. Um, you know, he, 
one day he's heading to the golf course and to watch a tournament and um, you know a few moments later he's trying to cross the street and uh, now he's no longer with us so I can't can't imagine what they're going through my, my heart you know I feel for them I'm sorry my my situation will get handled it was just a uh, it was a it was a chaotic situation and a, a big uh, big misunderstanding. Scotty is an unflappable golfer, but he's still a human, and he noted in his presser just how like shaken he was, and he was confused, and he was kind of like his heart was freaking out a little bit. Yeah. He literally asked someone at the police station to like come on over and sit by me. I'm kind of not handling this whole situation well. He's an emotional guy. He's just become a father. Like this wasn't an easy day for him, yeah. even if the scoreboard and the leaderboard make it sound like. Oh yeah, it's just another day in Scotty's jump in the world. It's hard to believe we still have real, actual golf to play. That it did not end when Scotty Scheffler's round ended. But no, we've got Colin Morikawa up on top of the leaderboard. We've got Xander trying to, currently trying to better him. Probably will be able to by the end of the day. But it's a bunch of really good ball strikers. The ball is sitting wherever they hit it. There's no movement on the ground. Look, I've been. Putting great so far since Augusta, um, so it's nice to just kind of keep that trend going. And was able to hit a few good close shots, a few wedge shots, take advantage of the short holes, par fives, and um, for the most part, you know, didn't really make any big errors other than the last hole, just that approach shot. You're pretty keen yesterday on saying, "Hey guys, it's just been one round," but is there anything? different or challenging about playing with a first round lead? Hey guys, it's just been two rounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's just 36 holes. It's a really good start to a tournament. I'm playing some really nice golf. I think as soon as, you know, 62 was posted, there's just blood in the water. I, I feel like these, you know, everyone, you know, if it was <laughs> rolls were reversed, it's sort of like everyone feels like they can shoot low now. It's just kind of how it goes out here. So, um, yeah, I think it definitely helps just to keep the head down, at least for now, it's only two rounds. Weather kind of feels like it has gone along with the day now. It's just peaceful, pure, still, stop raining, blue skies. Honestly, I want to go get an emergency nine. And do you do you feel inspired by Xander at the moment? A guy who has been always the bridesmaid, never the bride, leading the golf tournament. I do feel inspired by him, but I think it's mostly conditions. I don't I don't know. I, I struggle to believe the thing that like a golfer can change the course of their like general history on a Sunday, but I think you need a little bit of propulsion to get you there. And I think he has it this week. This course is so freaking soft right now. Everybody's scoring these crazy numbers and I think that's what Xander kind of means. We just bid farewell to Tiger Woods. Tiger, how would you yeah. characterize your week? Uh, the week was it was a great week being here, um, being here at uh, Valhalla, and unfortunately the my scores did not indicate uh, how, the, how the, the people treated me and uh, how great a week I had. Unfortunately, I, I hit too many shots. You know, uh, hopefully everything will somehow can come together in my practice sessions at home and uh, be ready for Pinehurst. One got a watch. Bryson's still Ooh. on the golf course. What's he at eight? He's at right eight now? under, so he's four back. He's still got a couple more holes to play. Keep your eyes on Mr. DeChambeau. This is the story with, with Valhalla, right? It's like not all that interesting a golf course, but it delivers a serious leaderboard every time. And look at where we are on Friday evening. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow, Lori. Trying to climb this mountain here. Um, let's put Sky Shuffler at the very tip top of it, and you know everyone else sort of somewhere down on the hillside, you know, grabbing on for dear life is what it feels like. Uh, you just get comfortable in certain times. Uh, so, you know, the more times I have a lead, the more comfortable I'll feel, the better I'll sleep, um, and I think I'll just get more confidence the more I can do it.